Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Stu, and on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this 4x4 Wild Mouse coaster in order to celebrate reaching 4,444 subscribers. Thank you very much for that. Now, 4x4 Wild Mouse coasters are nothing new. People have been making them for years, but I wanted to make my own version. I wanted to take the concept and try to make one that was as simple to build as possible. So this is my version. I will post a link to one that I've seen elsewhere and I found it quite complicated. So I never bothered trying to make it because I didn't think it was worth the hassle of trying to copy it. But this one is very, very simple to build it. And I'm going to show you how to do it now. So I'm just going to color in this section here just to show you that everything we build is going to be on that little section. I've just colored in. So now we're going to go in. Let's get a wild mouse just there. And let's plonk it down. Two tiles long for the station, entrance and exit. Let's get the paths down. So now the reason why I think my version is better is purely because it's easier to build. Okay. 90 degree bend. And then we're going to go steep up with a chain lift there. Flatten off hairpin back round like that and then we're just going to repeat that steep up with a chain lift flatten off hairpin round steep up with a chain lift flatten off hairpin round steep up with a chain lift flatten off hairpin round that's it we're at the top we can go one higher and then we'll hit the support limits but it's not really worth it. Okay. Um, so then at the back then, we don't need the chain lift. So steep up, flatten off, hairpin round. Same again, flatten off, hairpin round. But then by here, we're gonna do a block break and a break, put that down to 13, hairpin round, steep up, flatten off, hairpin round, block break, break, hairpin around, steep up, flatten off, hairpin around, and then we've got block break. Let's zoom in a second so you can see better. Straight section, 90 degree bend, another block break, straight section, 90 degree bend, block break, straight section and we're done so that'll allow us to have nine cars on the track if we'd have gone up one extra section we only get 10 cars so it's not really worth it i don't think anyway the extra expense and the time it takes as well so let's put this price up while we're doing that let's put the chain speed up as well because there's a lot of uh a lot of slow chain lift sections so the quicker we can make them the better let's give it a name as well mouse trap because we are building a better mouse trap put that down to 10 minutes don't need to worry about anything else on that screen let's get a mechanic zoned and a handyman zoned we're still waiting for the tests to come back. And there you go, 6.21 excitement, intensity 7.25, which is no real higher than, than a, a mouse coaster normally is. Right time 56 seconds. It could be shorter, but that's fine. That's fine. So we've got it's ten pound. Let's save this now with the paths as well. Save design. Yes. Replace the practice one. And then let's go in and have a look. How much did that cost? So before we do that, let's check the pre-belts. 4,700, 6.8 excitement. Whoops, spoilers. 3,600, 6.1 excitement. 
7.2 excitement 55 and mine 2300 6.2 excitement cool so let's open that up and whilst whilst we're doing that we can put down maybe put down a few little scenery blocks make it look pretty it'll give it a little boost of excitement as well This is such a small ride, it'd be very easy to build like a little building all the way around it. Make it into like an indoor coaster. It'll be pretty cool. It's running on fast forward now. It's not going to make you a ton of cash because it has got relatively low throughput. Once it warms up, it will go up to probably about 450 per hour but um it's never going to make you a tycoon unless you spam tons of them um but that is the benefit of it and if you put an extra one down as well as a mirror image you'd be able to get that excitement up to probably about 6.7 quite easily um this would work in one of the scenarios where you've got to build 10 coasters of more than six excitement that'll work fine on that um it won't work with any of the other mouse coasters because this is the only one really that's got block brakes the inverted hairpin has got block brakes but it requires um a longer drop than this one does this only requires a drop equal to just this section here it's like the minimum really you can you can drop it without using the shallow pieces but um so halfway there, it will make the money back eventually. Um, it'll help bring uh, guests into the park. Um, if you were doing, say, the Tenacious Tenements playthrough, uh, my scenario that I created, you could fit four of these into one of the 10 by 10 squares. So that would satisfy one of the coasters, but also help you earn money and bring guests into the park as well. Only another 500 to go and it'll have paid for itself. So this sort of ride, it's it's mainly a gimmick, I suppose. Um, or if you've got if you are really short on space, it'll help you out. Um, but all I wanted to do is I wanted to do a four by four coaster, but I wanted to do my own take on it and i wanted to try and make it as easy to build as possible and i think this is simple and we've paid for it it's paid for itself it costs two two or two three it's made two three it's paid for itself awesome stuff so i've built a better mouse trap this is my version of the four by four wild mouse hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>